It's Sandy Parker, and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Getting down to the wire on my Halloween things, as you know. This is one of the projects that I had done on my uh, missing sticks. That, if you didn't know, I lost a couple of my memory cards that had a lot of good videos on it. So, I'm going to be uh, redoing this one. I got my bottles at AC Moore. I really liked them. I thought they were really interesting, and this one really looks vintage to me. This one I thought was really kind of cool because it's got a circle um, indented into it, if you can't see it right there. So I thought it would be perfect for, on the, for the great big fe feather of the crows. I thought that was a cute idea. And... Um, I do have some feathers. I don't know if I'll jam them down in there or not, but um, I thought that would be kind of cute. On the other hand, I could put the feathers in this one and do something else on this one. I could do snake venom. I think I'm sticking with the feather of the crows because it's bigger. So what I'm going to do first, I printed these out on regular copy paper. I'm not sure if that's going to be a mistake or not. Because the last time I did this, I didn't distress them. And I thought at the time that they really needed distressing. And so this time I'm going to distress them, by golly. And I'm going to be using uh, pumice stone is the color in the distress inks. And I thought what I would do is I took this uh, plumbing fixture and I can't really tell you what it is. I just found it at a garage sale. And I jammed a bunch of those um, uh, makeup sponges in there so that they would fill it. And then I doubled one over on the top so that I had one that was really the, the um, main sponge, I guess we'll call it. And I did it because I couldn't hold those sponges when you fold them in half. And I thought this would work better for me. And I've never tried it out. I've got a hair in here I'm trying to get out because I don't want it to make a mess of my project. Anyway, uh, so what I did was I uh, just hot glued the final sponge down in there. And I jammed these ones in. I think they'll come right out if I tried to pull them, but I'm not going to. And then this pumice stone should be, I'm going to try it off the side here, it should be not too dark, and it's not. Um, I'm just afraid that it's going to be a little bit too, um, it's going to sink into the paper too much is what I'm afraid of and make it a little bit too, um, maybe pill the paper. I don't know. I'm very gently going around this edge because, like I said, I don't want the paper to pill. And since I chose to do it on regular copy paper, that's the risk you take. I got these uh, designs free off the internet from a website that I'll put the link below, but the artist's name is Leah Griffith, and she did a really nice job on them, and I thought they were really cool. There's two pages of them. There's uh, uh, this one, and then there's this one that has arsenic and tarantula legs and snake venom, and then the horn dust of the unicorn. So I might do the horn dust of the unicorn for the other one. And again, I'm just going to dab around the edge. I just wanted to have a little distressing on them. And I'm not sure, um, you know, when it dries exactly how dark this will be. But I didn't, I wasn't looking for this to be super dark, just dark enough that you could tell that it was distressed a little bit. If that makes sense at all. Okay, let me get my um, heat gun out and let's see if we can dry these a little bit so we'll know if this works or not. I'm going to keep my heat gun far enough away that I don't do anything uh, to my paper. I don't want to, you know, since this is such thin paper, it should dry pretty fast, hopefully. Okay, it feels pretty dry. 
as does that. So I thought what I would do is I looked to see if I had a punch that was a big enough circle, but you know how that goes. I had one that was just a little too small. Darn it. I'm going to err on the side of going outside the circle so that I can clean it up after um, after I've cut it out rather than, you know, cut inside where I can't fix it. So I'm just going to try and get as close as I can, but it's really kind of hard to see the color difference at this point. I think now I'm just going to try and make sure it's as circular as I can make it. But then again, you think about back in the medieval ages when they would have done these kinds of um, labels, they wouldn't have been perfectly round. They just would have been hand cut like this one. I'm going to get the bottom a little bit. So this is going to go on that bottle. I wonder if I should go over the whole image. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit more distressing on the image itself and see if that just a little bit. I'm just gonna dab here and there just so that every piece of it has a little bit of distressing on it. So what I'm going to use for my uh, adhesive is a uh, tear tape, but I'm going to use two different sizes, a really wide piece. Let me get this out of here so you can hopefully see that better. I'm going to use a wide piece. I'm just going to kind of lay it on. And then the rest of it, I'm just going to try and get that edge on there. I guess what I could do with the rest of it is just use the whatever's left over here. Okay. If you ever do this where you're you're using tear tape and you have it go over the edge a little bit like that, all you have to do is once you take your backing off, you just will uh, fold it back under on itself, and I'll show you that. But that's the secret in case you didn't know. Okay that out of the way. Let me use I'm just going to use up all of this. Why why let it go to waste, right? I know you're thinking to yourself, she just turned a two second project into three hours of putting tear tape down. Yes I did. That's how lucky you are to watch me do two hours of tear tape removal. Okay, see, I don't know if you can see that. See that little piece right there? I just fold that under. And that way it's out of my way. Then to get tear tape to come off really easily, the backing at least, you just really rub the edges. And once you rub those edges, It'll it'll come back. It'll come off easily. If you don't rub those edges, what you find is it doesn't the the tear tape itself doesn't adhere to your project. It just adheres to what you just played with. I just have a couple spots where I need to fold it under. Right there, right there. I think that looks good. Okay. Now to make sure that we get our sticker on straight. And there is that one. I think it's adorable. And it has this cool little stopper on it. Ah, adorable. Cuter than a button. Let's put a couple more dollops. I think if we have any ink in there, I'll do a little bit more ink. If my head's in the shot, I apologize. Sometimes it just gets there. 
you can always wipe this off the bottle because it's water soluble so if you do get any that goes off the edges there is bottle one now bottle two all we have to do is cut it out and stick it on I'm gonna I'm going to cut it off off tape off video so you don't have to watch that and then I'll be right back so our last step then is to take the backing off oh I also I came up with two ideas that I thought would be fun I thought since this was horn dust of the unicorn that I would put in this highly potent which I thought was cute and also I thought I'd fill it with grape Kool-Aid so that it has uh, something in there that could be highly potent and would look like it would come off of a unicorn I thought that was a cute idea and the girl I'm giving it to is in her mid-teens so she wouldn't understand that I'm not giving her anything that she wouldn't be able to consume I think I'm going to put this on the side so that the Oh, I forgot to shove all my sticky stuff underneath. Okay, I think that side's good. Looks good. Now this side, I want to do the same thing too. And I am going to put a little bit more distressing on it after I put the highly potent on. Oh, I forgot to tell you that I did put the tear tape on in the meantime, so you didn't have to wa watch me do that either. I like to save you from a few of these things that take forever for me to do. Because, you know, I don't want your time is valuable and I don't want to take up too much of it on gluing things down. Hopefully. Let me see before I put that down. That looks straight. Again, I have to my edges under. Okay. I'm just going to get a little bit more of my distressing, but I don't want a ton on here, so I'm, I'm just going to daub off a lot of it and then just kind of go around. I just want to make sure that the whole thing has a little bit of old look to it. Okay. There's that. Now we'll fill it up with a little bit of highly potent unicorn dust, horn dust, not just any kind of dust. I did wash these bottles before um, I came on, just making sure there's no dust in it. Before I did this, I washed all of them. And now I've got grape dust in the air. Do you see that? It's so pretty. <laughs> okay. I think she's going to get a kick out of this. Why wouldn't you? I mean, it's so much fun to get, get to have something that's um, unusual and also practical. She's not going to know what that is in there until she opens it. And then as soon as you open it, you get the, the big whiff of grape so it's kind of fun and then let me put the lid back on that so I don't end up with Kool-Aid everywhere like I haven't already gotten it everywhere so there is our Kool-Aid more Kool-Aid and then I have these feathers and it does say feather of crow on it I'm only going to put a couple in so in case she does decide she wants to do something with this bottle she can but I thought if I put a couple big long dark feathers in here. I'm going to put it in that way so that she'll get a kick out of the fact that she's got these big feathers in her bottle. I think that'll be enough. You can see those, can't you? Okay, get that out of the way. So here, whoops, I got to put the lid back on. I got, again, if I didn't say, I think I did say, I got the bottles at the Dollar 
No. At AC Moore, they were a dollar a piece. That's what I wanted to tell you. I probably should go over them, uh, the labels, with uh, some Mod Podge or some kind of sealant, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to wait until they're dry. But there they are. I think they're adorable. I hope you do too. I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. Oh, I'll pull them down a little bit so you can see them better. Um, I hope I hope you'll tell your friends about me on social media. I've been really meaning to do a video um, to celebrate um, the 1,000 su subscribers, but instead I decided to do a video celebrating my one-year anniversary. My first year on YouTube is coming up in the next couple of days, so I thought I would do a little uh, surprise and a little uh, giveaway, and so you want to stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, I hope you really liked this video. It was a lot of fun, and it's so fast that you can literally do this in a matter of minutes as you've seen and um, the only thing you're going to pay for is the bottle and whatever you pay or excuse me whatever you put in it so if you have bottles laying around the house that are cute you don't even need to buy those again the information about the st the um, labels is in the comment section below thanks again for watching bye bye